Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having a blessed morning. Um, I'm coming to you to, I got this video and one more video. I think this is part 10 of the Law and Grace series. I want to be thorough as best as I can, okay? Um, so the last video that I was speaking on was talking about how you cannot lose your salvation, but there's a lot of things that you'll lose if you don't walk in relationship with the Lord. Look at the video. It's all on there. Anyways, let's start um, on this new one here. This is pretty much talking about grace, okay? Um, I'm giving you grace scriptures just to reiterate um, the fact that we are saved by grace and not by faith and not, and not by the works of the law, okay? Um, keeping what you deem to be the law is futile. You, you can't keep it. It basically says in scripture, and I'll show that to you on the next video, that if you're going to try to keep the law, you have to keep the whole law, period. But see, the problem with that is, is you're already unclean. You were, you were conceived in sin. You were born in sin. And it's because it's in our DNA. You know, it goes through the bloodline. There's nothing we can do about it. You're sinful, you know. So anyways, grace produces the, uh, the things of the Spirit, all the fruits, love, peace, joy. So um, should we repent? Of course, yes. Yeah, when we think something or do something or, 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 or whatever, we should go, I'm sorry, Lord, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Please forgive me in Jesus' name. Okay? Absolutely, always repent. You know, I'm not never telling no one to repent. I'm not telling you not to try the best you can. But it's the work of the Holy Spirit, and that's why we have to stay in the Word, okay? Should we try to have a relationship with Elohim? Absolutely. My goodness, if we don't have a relationship with Him, it's hard to have a relationship with anybody else. And who better to have a relationship with than Elohim? The Lord God, I mean, goodness. Like in Job, he lost everything, but he found out at the end. He says, I've heard about you, Lord, but now I see you. So he's going to be there when everybody else and everything else is gone. Period. Okay. Does he condemn you when you don't measure up? No, he does not condemn you. He still loves you. Okay. He still forgives you. Now, maybe he, he might chastise you in a small way to where you, you know, go, oops, I shouldn't have done that, or oops, you know, you know. He'll show you somehow, some way that, hey, you're not supposed to be doing that. Okay, so, but does, you know, does he condemn you? No. He loves you. He has a, a shepherd's nook, okay, a, a staff. That, that's how he leads us with, you know, how they do with the sheep. They just prod them just, just with love, with love. They make them come with, you know, with love. Okay, uh, let's see. Um... Okay, his mercies are new every day. That means that every day his mercies are new. So that means 24-7 every day, it never stops. 24-7 every day, his mercies are new every day. Okay, when he looks at you, he sees his son's blood sprinkled all over you on the mercy seat. Okay, it's he is the mercy seat. And he sees his blood on you, all around you, surrounding you, cleansing that has made you clean, just justified, sanctified, okay? Not just forgiven, but sanctified, made righteous through Jesus Christ. Only through him, not anything that you can do, okay? Um, if, a, if a righteous God does not condemn you to hell because you accepted his son, his perfect lamb sacrifice, even though you may be doing things you ought not be doing here and there, um, who are you to condemn you? Okay, he's perfect. He's not doing it, so you shouldn't be condemning yourself neither. And that's the, the, the enemy accusing you of things that you're doing just to keep you in bondage, you know. And he's doing it through a lot of people, too, on YouTube that are preaching law, 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 law. You need to be spotless and blameless and are you counted worthy and all these other things. And I'm going to clarify a lot of those um, 
sayings and scriptures and they're taking it out of context and they're keeping you in bondage and the shackles and uh, it's just not right but anyways let's go on we're going to let's just speak some uh, grace um, scriptures to reinforce that we are saved by grace okay Romans 5 15 and 16 but not as the offense so also is the free gift for if through the offense of one many be dead much more the grace of God and the gift by grace which is by one man Jesus Christ hath abounded unto many and not as it was by one that sinned so is the, the gift for the judgment was by one to condemnation but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification so let's look at that word gift okay what's the definition of that it's a thing given willingly to someone without payment okay so it's a gift we do not have to pay for it it's already been paid for with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ okay so you know I know like I said yes repent try to do the best you can you know but don't condemn yourself okay he knows you he knows your heart and that's what the main thing is you know it says that God is spirit and that we should worship him in spirit and in truth and he can see your heart he, he knows when you're having trouble you know with a particular sin or whatever and he'll work with you on it okay so just give yourself some grace because like I said before your sin cannot outmeasure his grace you, you, you just can't outdo it okay his grace is much more stronger it's 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 powerful it's it's love you know okay so let's go on here um, for if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they which received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness so death okay the wages of sin is death so but by um, one much more they which received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness okay so that was through Jesus Christ shall reign in his, in life by one Jesus Christ okay um, 18 therefore as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation even so by the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men who unto justification of life now therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus okay 19 for as by one man's disobedience many were made sin sinners okay so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous okay all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God but through Jesus Christ we are made righteous okay 20 moreover the law entered that the offense might abound but where sin abounded grace did much more abound that as sin hath reigned unto death even so might grace reign through righteousness with eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord okay Galatians 3 13 Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law be made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree and I'm going to give a teaching on that because that goes back to Deuteronomy, y'all. Um, I'll, I'll do a little video on that at some point. Um, in which we have redemption through his blood, 
the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Okay, so Leviticus 17:11, for the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that maketh atonement for your souls. Second Corinthians 5:21. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Okay. Galatians 5.1 Stand fast, therefore, in liberty, wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage with the law. Don't don't you know, don't fall from grace. Okay, I'll explain that to you later too. Hebrews ten twenty two let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled there's that sprinkled again. That's the baptism of the Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Okay, he is the mercy seat. From an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Okay, what's that pure water? That's the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's the fountain of life that comes out of the belly, he says. You will have um, pure water that comes out of your belly, he says. Well, he didn't say pure, but it's the same thing. Okay, I want to make sure I get that right. Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. That means you're not walking after the law. You're walking after the Lord God, His Spirit. Okay. Galatians 5, 4. Christ has become of no effect unto you, Whosoever of you are justified by the law, <laughs> ye are fallen from grace. Very, I mean, it's self-explanatory. These are just awesome scriptures. Um, listen to the video. Write them down and look them up for yourself and do a little study. Okay? Galatians 3.18 For if the inheritance be of the law... It is no more of promise, okay? But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore, then serveth the law, it was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now, who's the seed? The seed is the Lord Jesus Christ, y'all. Okay? Um, so, ne uh, 20. Now, a meteor is not a meteor of one, but God is one. 21. Is the law then against the promise of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law which could have a have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the sacri the excuse me, but the scripture hath concluded all under the sun that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Okay, that's it. That believe. Twenty three uh, but before faith came we were kept under the law, shut up unto faith which should afterwards be revealed. So we were shut up underneath the law until faith was revealed through Jesus Christ. Okay? Uh, okay, so uh, 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after the faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. So we're no longer under the law when we receive grace by faith. 
So this concludes this, this teaching here. I will be back with the next one, um, maybe today or tonight. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Amen and amen.